What up, people? Welcome to the final day of the Flutter Five S app development series. I just finished the shooting the stand up. Hope you guys watched the stand up video. So I I hope you guys already know what the plan for today is. We we'll just jump right away into this applications video. The applications idea for today is to just fix up some things here and there, and mainly look at how are we going to release, build the release APK for the Flutter release APK, and put it into the Android Play Store. All right, so jumping right in, right into the videos. Uh, I'm going to be doing for the first half fixing this small bug that we found out in the last yesterday's video, the last part of the video, where the user sends a message, but he or she doesn't get any any sort of confirmation saying that the message has been sent. So we'll fix that first, and once that is fixed, we'll look at building a launcher icon, which we probably did in the last series as well. So once the launcher icon is built, we start putting the release APK into the Android Play Store. All of cool, super cool stuff is waiting for us. Let's go straight into this video. Well, as usual, I'm going to turn this thing off and concentrate on working here. Uh, so probably you guys cannot see my beautiful face for another 20 minutes. I'll meet you guys at the end of the video, meaning that I'll meet you guys this part at the end of the video. Hopefully, you find uh, this part informative. All right, all right, all right. So what do we have here is a simple container that builds applications. Message part for us. So this is how the application is looking at right send messages here and we have a send button as well and all of this is here so when the user clicks send button send feedback button we have to just pop out a simple snack bar here saying that if the message is sent we have to say that the message is being sent so what is the idea is that we want to build a simple uh, snack bar out of this the logic for snack bar is that there should be a scaffold parent waiting which uh, unfortunately we do not have so i'm going to build that scaffold parent and once that is done we are ready to go Alright, so this is the base container that we have. We just wrap this up with a simple scaffold. Alright, so the application is just as new as that. It's really new. Scaffold has been wrapped as the body, this is a parent. So when you do scaffold.off or dot show snack bar, it will automatically do this work for us. The container is going to be saying that we are done, meaning that application the user has sent the message. So we'll say that message sent to send successfully hit to hopefully it was successfully spelled right on the application once hopefully it pops up how do you test the message send it to yourself anonymous no I forgot the name it should be android monks 5 but I have hope the username, which you can find it from here. Awesome, we got the scaffold up and running. So this part of the work is done. We'll be uh, using this in the release APK as well. All right, so this part is done. And uh, I'm going to confess something to you guys. I worked in the background. I have actually built the app launcher icon. I don't want to waste too much time building it on live on the paper. So I've built a launcher icon, which looks something like this right now. This is how the app launcher icon looks. And I showed you a small trick in the last series of videos wherein I used this app icon maker.co. It's a very it's a free it's a free website. So all you have to do is just build any icon. I use Canva. You can do anything. You can use a Photoshop, you can do Illustrator, anything you want to build an icon with. And take the icon and put it here, and it's going to generate icons of all sizes. Why do we need this? This we need this because we can just click on Android and it's going to build the important things that we require. We're gonna need this because we have to go in and change our android app source main rest and these five important folders are going to have launch icons of varying sizes sizes for different different screen sizes we have to have different launcher icon sizes as well so i'm just going to replace all these icons i'm just not going to change the id then this uh, the uh, image name uh, rather, I just have a folder here with all the important icons that I need. So I'm just going to go in and replace these things with these ones. So that is idea. Uh, let me do that and I'll meet you guys after that. Awesome. So all of these are mapped. It's showing me blue because I have still have to put this into the Git repository. So this thing is the new icon. So if you can see here, it shows me the new icon. And when I just run this application, it will also show up in my launcher icon screen, which is nothing but probably it will show somewhere up there it will show somewhere here but i haven't run the application i'm gonna 
hold it for some time uh the next part that we're going to do is actually go in and test for any bugs i hopefully don't see any bugs uh just like i told you guys in the stand up i did test it in the background but then i'm going to do some testing and make sure that it looks fine and we we'll just jump straight into and start how to really build the release apk because there have been some changes and i hopefully you guys can see it and uh, maybe you can just build up really flutter release apk with ease well i'm just going to build this run the application i'm going to you can see this change in icon here and uh, we are ready to go probably what we expect out of the application so we need just do this this is the home button and we open this up that we have our application icon who who yp all right so what we have done so far is build the application and we have done everything but it's time to release the application to the app store so the first part is to actually build the release apk i'm going to give you guys just a three step process where you can directly build the apk without any problems uh, i understand from a lot of people that that has been certain in incidents where the release apk is not built properly for uh, android x compatibility issues and all of that but i will give you guys this simple way and it will hopefully run for you guys as well so what is the first thing that if you go i just drop this link in the description you can first go check that out and take this part for us for me it's in mac and linux so i'll just click click this part and i'll write run this it will say that command key tool not found so what are we going to do is i have already run flutter doctor hyphen v run that and go to this part java binary at take this part alone come here do just go back here and append this to the start now run this it will automatically run i'm going to enter the key store password which i don't want you guys to see so i just blur this part or i'll cut this part out and come back to you guys as soon as i enter the password all right so i've run the application and i'm not going to give you guys any any information here hopefully i'll do the clear all right so i've run the application i've run the key store password link and uh, it has generated a password it also generated a file which is nothing but a key.jks file which you can find it probably in your home location for me it's here this is my file it will have information regarding my use my username my name and all of that so it generates a key, unique key out of that so once that is done it's time to go into the android studio and make some changes to the android key.properties file it's very simple just three lines of code that you just have to copy paste replace the password key password key alias and just all these four lines of replace you guys can go do that i'll also do that and we'll meet after that find the android app and uh, what location does it say just app directory android key dot properties so android create a file called key dot properties add these four lines this part make sure that these this all this are properly filled out i'm not going to show you guys so i'll meet you guys at, at doing this all right so i've done that i've also closed that file so that you guys cannot see the password and all of that so this is done the next step that we have to do is go back to the file this wiki page and you find that we have to go and change the build.gradle file with android and replace this with this this and we'll just do just that we'll go to the app directory android app app and build gradle and replace I'm guessing inside this with replace the following with the keys. I'm just to do this. Okay, work is done. So and also finally replace the following with the following configurations. But uh, probably build type, which is this part. So we we'll just close this thing up. and we'll replace it with this part so take this thing out replace this with this and should be fine awesome save it and make sure that this is done and coming to the next step most important step i would highly recommend you guys to not do this step because mainly because it's going to impact your android x version android x compatibility is a, it's a, it's an ongoing thing i would recommend you guys to first shift to android x but in case you are not i would recommend you guys to not do this part so and I'm, i'm not going to do that because my this app is not running in android x so probably that is the main thing that i have to do so many do not do that and also this part do not forget to 
do not enable obfuscation and minification as well because it's not required this primarily to make sure that the app size is reduced and also to introduce ProGuard where you the, you nobody can reverse engineer the APK to the code and do all crazy stuff. All right, so that is it. Uh, primarily, this is what we are going to look at. We have to review the app manifest. Hope you guys have properly I mean, the app manifest and also the build configurations. Everything is properly built, configured properly and all that. And then building the app for release, make sure that you are having everything properly done. And finally, the finally the code to do that is just go to the path various code is stored and uh, do. All right, so this is just a warning. I don't mind this. Uh, it is going to anyway pick up whatever is running and uh, build this app for me. We'll wait for the results dependencies to resolve and I will finish running this application from scratch. Let me close this up. There is no code error in this part. All right, so it might take some time. I'll just um, come back to you guys after this part is done. Don't want to make you guys start a blank screen. All right, 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 right. So we've done the application. It's built. It's right here. So it's saying that it's built. Okay, and time to start filling out some important things like we did for the last video series. It's important that you fill these things out in a proper order. If you guys have to have a detailed view as to how I'm filling this out, you can watch my previous video. I've put that in the description as well, and it's also coming in the right top corner. That is actually a more detailed video. In this video, I'm just going to fast forward all these things mainly because I don't want to take so much of your time, and also this is written information. So make sure that you guys do fill these things out, just the simple questionnaires and just text box and fields that you have to fill out properly. And uh, I'll, I'll stop wherever it's necessary and probably we can check that out at that point. Alright people, so this is it. We have finally released the application in the market. Uh, the idea is to fill out all these important questionnaires. Everything you should get a green tick and once that is done, just click on start roller to production. It's going to do some background checks and um, probably put this application into the app store in just one day. It will take probably anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for the application to roll out to the probably roll out to the production use. So it's just it's released. So that is it. Probably we can wait for it. Seconds ago, full rollout is done. Uh, uh, we still have to wait for it to hit the market, and once that is done, it's just a piece of. It, it's 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 obviously available for anybody to use.
and once that is done if in case you're going to release the next the different different versions of apk uh, make sure to increase the version number in the build gradle file and apart from that nothing more you we have successfully done and released the application into the market kudos to you guys what are five days of super awesome development we have done application it's right now in the app store probably it'll hit the app store probably tomorrow it will take some time the google is going to obviously take some time to review inch by inch of application manual manual checking uh it will also have some uh, uh web automation checks as well so it'll take it take any from 24 to 48 hours probably even more than that uh last time it took me more than two days to actually hit the uh production so all of that can happen but we have successfully released apk we have successfully released the app bundle all of that happened in just five days super awesome work do not forget to check the application out in the app store i'll put that in the description as soon as it hits the play store once that is done you can just go in and give your reviews in the app as well i i certainly know that this is not like a super brilliant application but still it's something that we built from scratch i take humans fresh pleasure and pride in that and i hope you guys also do that you guys can build any number of applications as you want to release it in the app store and uh, you just can learn a lot of things from that it's it's a always a learning process all right let me take the leave from you guys uh, uh five days of letter five days was hopefully informative for you people if you find that informative do not forget to like this video and not just like make sure you share it with your friends and probably spread the word out and also subscribe to the channel that that motivates me to keep going and i can make lots of videos on flutter and other programming languages all right let me take your leave next series probably next series is even more informative until then it's bharat peace out have a super awesome day